this is an emergency. There's raw sewage spilling into our rivers, our ocean. There's growing concerns over the air quality in South San Diego related to the Tijuana River Valley cross-border pollution. And then at night, just this week, independent researchers reported detecting high levels of toxic gases near the border. At this time, we have not seen uh, data to suggest that there's immediate risk to life and health. However, we're not waiting for additional data to act. Paula Forbes is the air pollution control officer for San Diego County. She tells me since the end of July, they have received more than 200 complaints about odors and affecting their health, including gastrointestinal issues. As a result of that, we issued two notices of violation to the IBWC and its contractor, Veolia. They operate the wastewater treatment plant and um, infrastructure that should be treating um, a, a lot of the sewage in that area. It's an issue that brought this room of people together to understand what the San Diego County Air Pollution Control District Board is doing to bring relief to people affected. I think it was a huge step forward. We voted to fund uh, air filters. We voted to send a letter to uh, Governor Newsom and uh, President Biden to fix this, to declare an emergency that hasn't been declared. The office of Chairwoman Nora Vargas says the Air Pollution Control District will launch a robust public information campaign with school districts, cities, and the county to offer the community information on air quality and resources available in an accurate and timely manner. Call your representative. Call us. Hold us as elected officials accountable because we need to treat this like a crisis it is. Now, meantime, the Air Pollution Control District will work to develop a long-term strategy to sustain funding for the purchase and distribution of air purifiers for people affected. Back to you.